Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will explain to you how to enable auditing of shared files and folders on a Windows server. This is important because auditing allows you to track and monitor access to files and folders on the server, thus identifying suspicious or unauthorized activities, such as unauthorized access attempts, modifications, or deletions of files. When auditing is enabled, you can determine who accessed, modified, or deleted a file, which is useful for tracking responsible individuals in the event of policy violations, data breaches, or accidental data loss. The auditing process can also provide valuable operational insights into file usage patterns, access frequency, and user behavior. This information can be used to improve file and folder structures, enhance data management processes, and identify areas where access controls may need to be modified. The steps to enable auditing of files and folders on server are two steps. The first is enable audit object access through group policy and apply the policy to users, so open group policy management. In the group policy window, select the organizational unit to which you will apply auditing of shared files, right click on the organizational unit and select create a GPO in this domain and link it here. Then enter an appropriate name for this policy in the new GPO window, and click OK. And right click on the GPO that we just created, and select Edit, so that you can enable Audit Object Access, on shared files. On the left side, under Computer Configuration, click to expand policies. Then click on Windows Settings, then Security Settings. Then click to expand, Advanced Audit Policy Configuration, then click on Audit Policy. Then select Object Access, then go to the other side, and double click on Audit File System. Then select the option, Configure the following audit event, and also check both Success and Failure boxes, and click on the Apply button and OK. This completes the first step which is enabling audit object access by creating a GPO and applying it to the user group or at the domain level. This option is up to you to choose who to apply this policy to. Now, update the group policy from the command prompt window by entering the command GP update and executing this command to apply this policy to the domain controller. After that, I will move to the second step, which is configuring audit settings for shared files and folders. Select the shared folder you want to audit, right click on it, and select properties. Select the security tab, then click on the advanced button. From advanced security settings, click on the auditing tab. Then, click on the add button. Then click on the select a principal link, then the select a user dialog box will appear. Here, enter the name of the user whose access you want to monitor, but you will repeat this step to provide the names of all users whose access to the specified folder should be monitored, so you can enter everyone, to monitor all users access to this folder. Select all, in the type. Then, click on the show advanced permissions link, to display the permissions, that we will specify on this folder. Clear all permissions, and select, list folder and read data, select create file and write data, and also create folders and append data, and also delete subfolders, and files, and delete permission. And these options are because when the user creates a folder, an event will be recorded, and also when deleting or modifying, we will learn about that in the next step. Click apply and OK to save the changes made, to the folder properties, then open the event viewer, to monitor the changes made to the folder. Click on Windows Log, from the left to expand it, then click on Security, but before reading any event, go to the client computer and open the shared folder, and I will create one or more folders on this shared folder. And I will also create one or more files, and we will learn how to identify that through the event viewer window. After finishing, go to the event viewer and refresh the events. You will find the event for what you just did on the folder, you will find that the user test1 created a text document, and you will find the name of the text document. 
You should also see that a file has been added, and here you will find everything that has been done on the shared folder. And in the event that the user deleted the folder, or all folders and all files, all of that will also be recorded in the event viewer, I will explain that directly. Refresh the events, select the event, and you will find that the user test1 deleted the folder. For more clarification, right click on security and select filter current log, and in the event ID, field enter the number 4663, and click OK, this ID will identify the event that occurred on the folder, whether it was the creation of a file, or folder or the deletion of a file, or folder. Read each event separately to understand it. Thus, any documents or file that is created, on this shared folder by any user, will be added an event that shows you which user created the folder, and the event will also show you any deletion, creation or modification process within this shared folder. Follow the events with the date, and time you want, and you will find everything that has been audited in this folder. I hope that the video is useful to you. And thank you for watching. And I also hope that you subscribe to my channel. Thank you all.